welcome back to PJ's Cat class. We're going to talk about something really simple today. It's not really about how to model, but it's a little bit uh, trick and tips for the rendering. As you can see, I have a stone with the prong set over there. Now, if you look at the top view and if it is a ring, 80% of the design is on the top view, that you can see I don't see the metal um, around a stone. The reason I do that is because the stone will look bigger in this way. Now let's take a look on the front view. It's just a concept of the stone setting. Um, I'm going to draw a line here. And you kind of notice if I move the line really close when I do my setting on the bottom of the stone, I try to make it just a little bit smaller than my stone. Okay, so what happened, I'm just going to do a comparison. I'm going to copy the whole things with the gumball, hold the gumball, uh, and then tap the O key, then you will make a copy. In this comparison, I'm going to pick up the bottom one and just scale it a little bit bigger. As you can see from the top view, they are exactly the same stone, the, the size is the same, but because the metal around it giving a frame and make the stone smaller, and of course your client doesn't want to see that, they want to see the stone as big as possible. Alright, so keep in mind that if you are doing any of the stone setting, make sure that your seat is not over the edge of the stone and that will make your design the stone look bigger on your design all right thank you for watching and i'll see you next time